Here I have an XMOS XCore AI multi-channel audio board. It's the XK Audio 316 MCAB. And here's the board. This is cool. It has MIDI in and out. It has eight audio ins and eight audio outs. Over here we have the XMOS processor chip. That's a custom architecture. It's sort of the spiritual successor to the transputer architecture that I remember reading about when I was in high school. It's not an ARM core or anything like that. It's its own thing. And let's see, it has a micro USB connector. And this is really the only thing in the box. Well, there's this card with the URL. Okay, I plugged it in. And here's some blinky LEDs. Let's see, it's not showing up as anything in particular. Maybe I'm supposed to plug it into debug. Ah, now, these aren't blinking, but this power light comes on. Maybe I should read the instructions. Ah, uh -huh. when I plug it into debug, I see XMOS XTAG4. Oh, it wants me to hook up both of these. I need to go get another cable. Okay, now I have both a power light and blinky lights. Oh, look at this. Actually has Mac versions of the software. Oh, glorious. Uh, let's see if I have CMake. Okay, it looks like I have CMake. And I do already have Git. Yes, I would like to use VS Code. Log in to download and install XDC tools for Mac. Okay, here's the tools. And it looks like it's not a million gigabytes. That's kind of nice. I guess I just drag and drop this. Okay, so it wants me to go to the terminal where the software is installed and run this to set up some environment variables. Okay. Let's do that. Let's check XTAG access, xrun-l. Ah, indeed, it looks like we have access. Oh, let's try xcc-help. Ah, there's help. Oh, it looks like the website was missing a dash on the version. Ah, there we go, version 15.3.1.